these are kitchen cabinet shelves. I clear all the stuff off these shelves and clean them periodically. I'm about to do that and show you how I do it. This is sticky, greasy stuff. I um, sprayed all of these areas uh, a few years ago with um, epoxy paint. And even this melamine down here. So uh, that helps when it comes to cleaning. You can see there's a little gloss on the paint here. This is really super sticky. Oils. Um, just put bags of stuff in there that's greasy, I guess. I don't know how it gets this nasty, but it certainly does. And so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to show you how I use this type of thick um, rag. It's got a lot of real good um, aggressive sort of fiber to it. I wouldn't use a sm um, smooth rag because I like this, you know, extra bit of um, friction that this is going to provide. Before I um, use the, the cleaner though, I have a bucket of water from the tap that's as hot as I can stand and then I just dampen this. I obviously I'm wearing gloves, I'm going to use gloves. And then I also use dishwashing gel. Um, the dishwasher gel is better than laundry detergent in my opinion. You can see a video that I made of cleaning a really nasty pair of cutoffs by soaking it in this stuff. It really does work great. Um, it's concentrated, so wearing gloves is a must. I'll show you a little bit of the actual method that I use. I have sprayed a couple of nice little puddles of the dishwasher gel onto the shelf. You could put it onto the rag first, but I just will put this on here. I don't tend to um, rinse the rag out until it's really super filthy and then I just go over to the bucket with the warm water and then uh, clean the rag out and then start over again. So I just take this and then I just start rubbing it onto the shelf. It's slow work but you can see that it does start cutting in. No hurry uh, when I'm doing this and just keep sort of spreading it around so the detergent gets a chance to um, affect the grease and all the other grimy stuff here. These lower shelves are cleaning up very nicely but this top shelf is giving me a hard time. It's stubborn and I added a little extra to the mix and I've been just I put a coating of the um, gel, the dishwasher gel on these shelves and it sort of pre-soaks it, but I wanted a little bit more aggressive um, washing action, so I did add some dishwashing powder to this top shelf because this is just giving me a rough time here, and the gel was not doing it exclusively, so I need a little bit extra um, scrubbing power here. Here's some progress. Shelves on the left here weren't that bad so they're kind of just soaking here I've rubbed and and put a layer of the dishwashing gel on it I'm trying to be really careful with this finish so I'm nervous that the gel is going to affect the paint in the back wall and these other finishes so I'm not rubbing really super hard I'm letting the detergent and the rag do the work so to speak and just kind of rubbing gently but I want to get this stuff off here as quickly as possible so it doesn't harm the paint. I took about 50 minutes that's five zero minutes to do these shelves just these. It turned out great there's a little yellowing I think this is from the um, overspray of the epoxy paint there was some little surface damage because of the cleaning and so forth. And these little spots back in here, these splatters of whatever the heck this stuff is, grease or something, maybe it's olive oil. I didn't use a brush in here, I just, said, I just want to leave it alone. But the shelves turned out great. Um, as I was cleaning, 
I kind of left the stuff on there but just continuously rinsed the rag and cleaned the water so that it got cleaner and finally just rinsed everything off with clear water. So the rag held up fine. Anyway, if your shelves are real sticky and greasy, it's possible to clean them and have it turned out good. Just be careful. You're going to need some kind of a strong material like the dishwasher gel. And uh, just be careful of the finishes and it is 